Okay, got some new stuff. I went with the Tusk Soft Glide. It's really heavy, but it's made really nice. I think it'll be worth the wait. And then I chose the Bark Busters and those mirrors. Yeah, those are really cheap. So I put these, uh, well, what everybody puts on, the double takes. I've been running them on my other bikes for years. Um, I like them. They do break, though. And they also scratch. So, keep that in mind. Oh, I unlocked the Explorer mode, so I'm really excited. I'm going out and meeting a buddy. He's got a Norton, too, a brand new Norton, so that's going to be fun. And uh, another new rider, and uh, we'll be able to talk Nordens. But this is my uh, setup for my day. I got, I call it a butt pack, but I think they call it something else for my emergency supplies. And then I got this new rig gear for my day trips. It opens up quite a bit. And that, this is just my first aid kit. Um, so basics. I may add more to it. I also have other butt packs to put on for my day um, trips. Oh, I'm going to be taking this on some long trips, some camping trips. And I got some Moscow Moto. Let me go get the Moscow Moto. Yeah. It's the revolver. Anyway. There it is. This is, I think, going to be pretty nice. Looks nice on the bike. Doesn't need the rack, racks, and I know they advertise, or on YouTube they other bikes. Gotta wash my DR. Anyway, the videos on the Moscow Moto bags say that you need a rack. Well, you don't really need a rack. Of course, keep in mind I have not used them yet. I've mounted them on the bike, but quick simple solution was is I got a piece of well I had a piece of aluminum and drilled a couple holes hooks up to that the center one goes through the other two right there and, and it works fine this might be a little bit soft but I got some thicker material too and I am trying going to try these new tires what are they they are the I think they're Dunlops mission trail max mission tires they're supposed to be 50 50 we will see this bike was just so nice on the street and so smooth and handled so well that I didn't want to lose too much of that but those tires had got to go here in the Pacific Northwest the 8020s, the front just washes out way too easy, and I don't want to be that careful or that nervous for so long. So, I'm going to try these. Hopefully, they won't wash out as much. I might have to. Well, I probably will keep them, but I might go with a different front if it doesn't stick. But these are supposed to be pretty smooth, too. So, we will see. Anyway, that's my bike. I do have also that one black bar that goes the crash bar along there that won't be here for another week or two I've looked in if you guys are curious about how much these little cheap pieces are they're like 220 bucks so there you have it oh I also the suspension I was kind of worried about at first but yeah, I just messed with it a bit. I went, I think, with the uh, whatever that's set under the seat, and it's actually pretty nice. So, pretty happy with the bike. 
lots of power, lots of fun. It rides very, very much like the DR. It's kind of very planted, and although it has that extra weight, it doesn't feel like it. Um, it actually <laughs> might even be easier to pick it up once it's, you know, once you crash. So the DR, you know, is much closer to the ground. The weight's up higher. This is pretty easy to pick up. So, yeah, Sunday, Okanagan. No, Entiat, Sunday, Okanagan's in June. Fun bike. Yeah.